Hey, good morning, everybody. Good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're at in the world. Thank you for joining me today. So this is the Wealth Building Channel. If you're new and if you're coming back, thank you again. So we're gonna we're gonna do something a little different today. This is, might be more for the men. I'm trying not to be biased because I I don't see too many women doing age back, but I mean it's possible. I just haven't met them. So this might be for the guys today mainly because I normally do a lot for the girls. I do a lot of administrative searches. I did. But I try to, you know, make sure everybody's covered as much as possible here for careers. So we're going to go through some HVAC jobs. If you don't want to go out into, you know, run around trying to find an HVAC job, we're going to look at some of these today, these careers, if you want to make more money. All right, so these are some of the HVAC jobs that I have found that are listed not sure where you're at in the world but um they're all over the place comment below if you are an HVAC person currently and um, you can comment on any of these you want to comment on because I don't really know a whole lot about it um, so we got controls mechanic let's look at a couple of these now, this is where I work. I work for the prison system currently. So if you want to go and teach the prisoners how to do an HVAC, you know, be a vocational training instructor so that they have some skills when they get out of jail. And, you know, you want to go to Texas, uh, this might be a good one for you. And they also have some in South Carolina too, by the way. That's the good thing about here um, is they have prisons all over the all over the US now I don't know about other countries this is mainly for the US I'm sorry if you that's you know all right here's another one in Colorado for the Department of Air Force and I'm just telling you right up front that if you go into a military base it might take longer to get the job because they have more security but you know if you're determined to do that or you have a military background you might be able to get get in there quicker they also might give you more points if you were in the military. Just a heads up on that. You might get an extra five points for competing with other people. So we have it all over. You can see they are all over the country. And it's, I'm sorry for my European people, but um, these are mostly for the U.S. I'll try and put that in the description so I don't waste your time. If you don't want to come to the U.S., that's fine. I understand. But these are mostly for my U.S. people. Uh, I do do some all over the world, but this one here is mostly for... Um, this is Department of Defense, too. And anything with the Department of Defense is going to take longer to get in because of security. So this is what they're paying an hour. And I don't know what it is on, you know, in the field, if that is low. Um, but th I don't know if this is a starting thing. But it looks like this is a basic starting out one. So you probably can move up with time. And these salaries change every time the government gives an increase, which they usually give an increase every um, every year. They give 3 to 4% depending on who the president is. So this is basically going to be your duties, and if you feel you can do this, then you can do it. Um, your qualifications are right here, so you need to make sure you go through here and that you have these qualifications. If you don't have these qualifications, then don't even bother applying because they'll just kick it out, okay? Okay. Let's go look at a couple more of these before I turn this video off. And I'm going to tell you what you need to do if you're interested in any of these. Equipment specialist. Let's look at this one. Uh, this starts at 92, goes to 120. So that, that looks like it's a better salary than the one we just looked at. Um, this one looks like somebody that's probably more experienced. So if you got some experience, hey, I would work on it. 
okay? Because you've got pretty good benefits here, and it might be better to do this than work for, you know, somebody, a small business that cannot pay as good. All right, so you got requirements, you got a servant, and like I just told you, you have to do a background investigation. And this is where, and this is Department of Fence. So um, it, that's what's going to take you a long time. So don't quit your other job until you definitely have this. And you're going to have to have patience because they don't do anything fast on the government. Um, they take their time. All right, so this is some of the specialized equipment that they would like you to have starting off. So if you have this and you're willing to undergo the background check, um, you'll be fine. Now, you don't need to be a perfect person, but um, just be honest, because they're going to check check everything out. And n none of us are a perfect human being, so if you, know, if you got locked up for something, you need to just be honest, because it might not be that critical to getting the job. It may be, I don't know, it depends on what, you know, how, how much security. It, it doesn't look like it's a top secret security, so you might be okay. You have to serve a one-year probation to make sure you show up on time every day and that you're not coming in drunk or high on something. Um, if you have a felony, you know, I can't answer all those questions, but you just need to be honest. Let's look at the preview questions before we hang up this video. So these are the questions that they are going to ask you. And when you, you need to fill this out, okay? And you need to give yourself a good hour where you're not super tired, wherever you have your most energy and fill all this out. It's going to take a little while to fill it out, but you need to fill it out to your best of your ability to be an honest and um, if you need help with anything, you can always contact me on my website, certify that these are true. And um, that gives you an idea of the questions, okay? So if you're looking for a more stable equipment specialist job that with some benefits and pays pretty well, you can go through here. Now, what I did was I just typed HVAC in the keywords. You can type whatever else it is you're looking for. Um, this is on USA Jobs. And, um, you know, you can also type whatever city and state you want to work in. Because, see, I didn't type any in and all of them popped up. California, Maryland, Colorado. So wherever it is you're at and wherever it is you might want to go. Um, also, the salaries should be compensated for the area. Like California usually pays a little more than Massachusetts. But here is a maintenance mechanic supervisor that starts off at 70, which is normally a little bit higher than those um, working for a person that owns their own business on the street. So, um, again... This is how you do it. You will need to set up an account. I have an account and you're going to have to go through and that's the first thing you want to do is set up an account because it will create a uh, resume for you. And um, if you need any help, you can contact me with that. But you're going to you're going to need to set up your profile first because it will create your resume for you and you can use that for all the jobs and after you get through the first one it will get a lot easier on applying because you won't have to keep doing that every single time and you also need to put any certifications or any other documentation in your documents that's going to help you look better on your job hunt okay so i'm going to leave that to you i'm going to end this video if you have any other questions you can contact me on my web page and I can't remember off the top of my head what my email is because I have too many of them. So it's ltg, ltg, g, coach.com. And uh, I think my email is on there. So again, we have Pennsylvania, Virginia, New York. All right. I'm going to end this video. And I appreciate everybody for staying till the end if you stayed. See you on the next one.